604 other credits on IMDb. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Just from, just from this month alone. Uh, hi, Kyle. How are you? Hey, dude. I'm A-OK. -okay. Perfect. Except I woke up this morning and uh, I brought everything except my art prints. So my art prints are going to be here tomorrow. Ooh. I'm going to drive back to Burbank and get all my art prints. They're really cool pictures of all my characters. It was like, I forgot them. So people, today, a lot of people are bringing their pops, their Funko Pops. So you got Gohan, you got Ryu, you got Fat Gum, all that stuff. So if you find that, I can certainly sign that for you. And uh, the other things you bring and do selfies and stuff. So yeah, good times. Oh my God, so there's so many people here. I know. And they're all here for you. No, they're not. They're yeah. here for everybody. <laughs> We're here for this amazing Naruto panel, the get together, the whole cast tomorrow at the. No, Naruto. I'm pretty sure they're just here for Kyle. Right. Oh yeah. Check we were gonna call it Anime Kyle Con, but it's just no. it was already taken apparently. Oh, was but. it? Is that how that works? <laughs> okay. Well, thank you because we are freelance, so thank you for supporting artists. I have one question, and I'm gonna open up to all these beautiful, amazing people up here. The beautiful people. The beautiful you you have shaped so many people's pasts and in in, in geekdom and, and everything. And Gohan has always been such a big, big character, and now becoming the front runner, it seems like. Yeah. In the next arc. Yeah. I don't, it, I don't have any it, inside info on that. But is then, this, is this the journey you always wanted to see Gohan? Yeah. I mean. Golly, this is a journey of an incredible character that people have been waiting for, for, golly, I mean, since I started, yeah. 22 years ago. <laughs> That's longer than some of you have been alive, uh, right? And uh, what, what's amazing is a show and those characters have such staying power, you know? It's, it, it's meant a lot to, to parents, or well, back then it was kids, and now a lot of them are parents now, and they're introducing their kids and siblings and whatnot to powerful old school shows. We say old school, it's not that old, but I mean, it's not Speed Racer old. <laughs> like, that's the anime I watched as a kid in the 70s, because I'm old. But um, yeah, things like that, and Star Blazers, and Robotech, and Voltron. We have a little bit of Transformers too. Um, because that was kind of a Japanese thing, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's been an incredible journey, and it's incredible to see things that, that have an effect on people in a positive way. I like to tell people that I heard Stan Lee once says, basically, I'm paraphrasing, that it's like, I know there's doctors and other people out there that are doing everything they can to help people, and we're just artists, but we help people too, and I thought, wow, that's, that's kind of true. Entertainment is therapy. Because so many people have said, and not just to me, but I see them at conventions and when they meet the guest and they say, oh my God, you've got me through a really rough patch in my life. Or I played this game and that helped me keep me distracted from horrible things going on in the real world. It's like, yeah, just escape for a few minutes. It makes a huge difference. And um, so that is always gratifying to see when you know, we record something in a vacuum where it's just me and, me and the director, and then it gets out into the, the ether. It gets out there for the public, and then start I start getting tagged in tweets and, and stuff, and they're saying, hey, man, oh my God, I love this show, and it, it changed my life, or it inspired me, or it helped me. So seeing like that, especially with Gohan. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because he's a he's a three-dimensional character drawn in two dimensions. <laughs> but he is he does have a three sides, you know, multiple sides to him. He's a great dad, he's a great husband, better than Goku. <laughs> <laughs> you got that on camera, right? You got it, ready? <laughs> it's canon! canon. <laughs> I, I think Piccolo is a better father figure. I do. I do believe that. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Okay, so let I'm gonna. Okay, first off, can you guys hear him in the back? Cool. Also, if you want to be kind, if you ever want to scoot in, if you have an empty chair, so we have all these beautiful people in the back who are standing up to give them a little bit of uh, rest on their feet, and then uh, if you have any questions, let's just start to line up over here. Okay, right, for any uh, questions, and so oh, actually, since you're right here, why don't you come up here? And I'll grab your problem. Then. Gonna take the thing and do the thing. This is the thing. loveliest sound you'll ever hear. Yes. And what is your question? It's almost as good as. <laughs> <laughs> we love feedback. Hi. 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 H
What? I'm sorry. Oh, oh, pick a number from 1 to 29. Okay, I'm picking a number between 1 and 29. Do I tell you what it is? Oh, you can tell me the number. I'll tell you the number. Number 9? Okay. Is it hard to watch or listen to your performance? Mm. No, it actually isn't. Most actors I know can't watch their stuff. They just like, they feel too weird and cringy about it. It's like, or they're embarrassed or they're way too hard on themselves about it. I think it's fun because I've been wanting to do voice acting since I was a kid. So I love hearing the final mix and the final product because we don't get to play off each other when we record. When we do anime and video games, we're all by ourselves. The cartoon people, that are doing The Simpsons and Futurama and Family Guy and all that, they get to be in one room together, and that, that's the best feeling. That's, that's the most fun you can have, because you get to play off each other's dynamic and watch them screw up, and they watch you screw up, and it's like, this is great, and it's so much fun. Um, but it's a, different, it's a different beast in voice acting for anime and video games. But yeah, I just hear me, or I hear the original Japanese track, or maybe if someone else is in the scene with me and they've recorded before me, I might hear them a little bit. But time is money. I don't have time. They don't have time to screen the whole episode for me. There's no rehearsal. There's none of that. I'm just a blank slate when I come in. So it's, it's cool to get to, to see what the final version sounds like. There are people I have worked with on Naruto, for example, that... To this day, I haven't met. I think I met everyone here at this reunion this, this weekend. It just happens to be. But we did a cast reunion in the early 2000s at Anime Expo. A lot of us hadn't met each other. Oh, Even wow. though we've interacted, our characters have interacted. They fought battles together. And I'm like, <laughs> who are you again? I'm Kiba. Oh, is that the kid with the dog? <laughs> yeah, he's the one with the dog. Did I beat you up? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I think I kicked your butt once. So, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much for your question. Sure. Thank you. All righty. Steamed hams. I love that shirt. It's, it's very hammy. <laughs> do it, do it. Good to see you again, Kyle. Thank you. You too. Oh, I've uh, got a question, but I already know the answer to it. Um, would you like another box of uh, blueberry cereal? I won't say no. Here we go. That's what Dude, I'm blueberry. What I'm expecting. See, normally I don't really care for fruit flavored cereal. Like I can't get into Fruit Loops and all that. I love Captain Crunch, Frosted Flakes, Honey Nut Cheerios, Raisin Bran. <laughs> that, that's about it. But I do love me some blueberry. They aren't as good as the ones from my childhood though, because then now they make it slightly healthier and less <laughs> sugar, so it's not as sweet. And the thing I really love about cereal is when you, you leave it in the milk and make it soggy. Some people are grossed out by that, but I love it because it makes the milk taste like the cereal. I love that. We all do. It's amazing. Okay. And I think they even have Funko Pops of all the berries, the Franken <laughs> Frankenberry, Booberry, Count Chocula. I can't get into chocolate flavored or cocoa crisps or any of that either. It's like, no, that needs to be candy. <laughs> I like it as candy, but for some reason, blueberry speaks to me. It also reminds me of uh, Star Wars, the blue milk. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, not, not the character. <laughs> oh, there's no Star Wars character that looks like blueberry, but there should be now. There should be, exactly. Good Obi Wan season over. two, let's do this. That's <laughs> right. Hello there. Yes. <laughs> I can see it. Good crossover offer marketing opportunity. Very true. <laughs> Very true. Hello. Hi. I'm a very big fan of Gohan. Awesome. Thank uh, you. I have two questions. First question is, what was uh, your favorite moment with Piccolo and Gohan? And the second question is, what is your uh, greatest moment in Naruto? Okay. Greatest moment in Naruto. I did like that Chunin exam. Of course, Naruto cheated. <laughs> you know, I just floated an air biscuit right in his face. It's just like, man, that's crazy. See, so I, I, a lot of people get confused when I say, yeah, I voiced Gohan. I voiced Gohan after he's in high school, forward till now. And I'm trying to remember, did they fight together that much after that? You know, after he's grown up? A couple times they have. Like, yeah. I, I do remember a couple times where Piccolo has jumped in front of Gohan, all the death scenes, those cannot be out of my head. <laughs> those 
Disturbing, yeah. Those were the worst scenes, but I mean, I pushed through it and I watched because I cannot get enough of Gohan. Right. Well, Piccolo, you know, again, a parent's got to save their child. <laughs> he's not green, he's not Namekian, but there's a lot of love there. I, I've never been asked that about a, a, a scene with Piccolo. They usually just ask me, what's your favorite Gohan scene? I can't answer that. It's during the Other World Tournament when he turns Super Saiyan 2, yeah. and but he's older now. Yeah, it's like, oh, that's cool. His eyes roll back in his head. He looks possessed, and like, ah! you know. And I got to do it again on Kai, Dragon Ball Z Kai, 15 years later. Man, that was fun. Dude, oh, thanks for watching. Thank you so much for your question. All right, Plus Ultra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Don't be nervous. I've <laughs> um, been a huge fan since I was a kid, so um, I was um, a little curious. Uh, what's your um, favorite Dragon Ball movie or like Naruto movie? Oh man, I haven't seen all the Naruto movies, but I have seen the Dragon Ball movies. Golly. Um, it's not evolution, is it? No. <laughs> I want to say maybe Fusion Reborn. That was a really good one and funny. Uh, I do like all the, the newer movies too. What I really like about Broly, I'm a little upset that they don't have Gohan in it. Yeah, they don't even yeah. mention his name. It's like he doesn't exist. Like, what happened? Is the multiverse? What is this? <laughs> yeah, the word probably. <laughs> Thanos just is Broly's his problem, <laughs> basically. But the thing I really love is the animation of the fight sequences in Broly are just jaw dropping. So I'm hoping they bring, they, they're going to have to up their game because the bar is pretty high. Yeah. As far as that goes. What's your favorite one? Oh, um. Dude, there's, um, I think it's a special, but I think History of Trunks. Oh, History yeah. of Trunks. Yeah, that's right before I got to be Gohan. <laughs> it's actually <laughs> Damien Clark, who's Cell. Oh, he was yeah. Future Trunks in that. But it is me in the video games. Mm, yeah, yeah. We were at this point where we redubbed everything uncut, and they were at a, 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 a point where, like, Chris Abbott, Vegeta, and Piccolo, Yamcha, he was directing all that, and it's like, I think we'll just stick with what we have. We're gonna have everyone just be consistent characters across the board, but we can look at it kind of like a multiverse sort of thing, an mm. alternate reality. So that's why they kind of left that be, so. Future Trunks in the in uh, future Gohan rather Ultimate Gohan is definitely a different voice than mine on that one thing, but it is me on the games <laughs> oh, yeah. for what it's worth. Yeah, but that's cool. Yeah, that is a cool movie. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. All right. How's it going? Yeah. Take a picture here. What's up? Take a Oh, no. <laughs> nice. And a huge fan of you, Kyle. Especially Great Sam Man, best character. I was wondering, um, has you accidentally voice act like a Dragon Ball character in the Naruto, or vice versa? So like, yes, I say Gohan's lines in like Naruto. I haven't ever said the lines like cross them over because you know we have the scripts in front of us. But I will say, you know, if you listen to Gohan and you listen to Kiba, they pretty much sound the same. The difference is in the type of character they are. You know, uh, Kiba is a little more kind of a jerk, <laughs> and Gohan's just a little more nice. Um, and, you know, a refined, I guess. And Kiba's more feral and wild and all that stuff. So that, when, when you say to yourself, like, I keep hearing the same voices on everything, it's like, you may hear the same voices, but they're different characters. And hopefully if the actors know what they're doing, and the directors get that performance out of them, they will sound unique, they will sound special like that. So I, I notice that, yeah, my voice sounds similar when I'm Kamina and Gurren Lagann, or even Fat Gun. Fat Gun sounds like Gohan too. And some people say, Ryu sounds like Gohan. It's like, really? His voice is a lot lower. The answer lies in the heart of God. It's like, that sounds like Gohan to you? <laughs> I'm like, okay. But, yeah. Can you see that Great Saiyan Man line? I am the Great Saiyan Man! <laughs> the city, protector of justice! I love playing him, because he's such a dork. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, yay, dorks. It's a legit jacket. Hi there. Long time no see, Kyle. Hey, what's up? 
Okay, so me and my friend, all the way in the back, he's sitting down now, he was standing. We love your performance as Ryu for Street Fighter. Nice! And I just want to know, how are you feeling for Street Fighter 6? Uh, it looks pretty awesome. I mean, every game is like getting better and better, and he's looking more and more refined. He works out a lot more than I do, that's for sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, now what do you think of it? Oh, that looks amazing. The color splash and everything. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I wonder how, like, the word, like, um, getting to told that you're gonna be in Street, Ryu's gonna be in Street, uh, Smash Bros. Yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty wild. We were actually recorded that almost a month before it came out. Wow. It was like a 15 minute session. Cause as you know, you play Smash Bros, they don't really talk. They say a couple of taunts and that's about it. So the only one I remember him is saying, so this is Smash. But yeah, dude, getting to be in a Smash game, getting to be in a major Nintendo title, I never thought that would happen. But then again, Ryu also got to say, it's Morphin Time. He's in a Power Rangers game. Who thought of that? Was it like 3 a.m. and, you know, after a weird binge and, and getting Taco Bell, and it's like, what if, guys, what if, hear me out, we get Ryu to be a Power Ranger? Genius. Let's do it. <laughs> like, and then they said, you're not going to believe this, but you're going to be a Power Ranger. Like, what? <laughs> what? What is life? Have you played that? Oh, hell yeah. Battle on the Grid? It's a good game. It's a good game. And the last thing is, can you say hi to my friend over there with the voice for you? His name's Nader. Hater? Nader. Oh, Nader? Yeah. Hey, Nader. The answer lies in the heart of battle. <laughs> Thank you. You must train hard. By the way, did you guys hear that uh, Ryu's going to be in the Avengers? You didn't, like, you didn't hear about that? <laughs> I didn't hear about that? No, no, dude, that needs to happen. An anime <laughs> Marvel crossover. There have been Marvel animes. It's been a while. But... We may only have time for about three more questions, just so you guys know. I'm so sorry. Is that it? No, I'll, I'll answer briefer. Oh, yeah. Is that a word? Okay. Hi. Whatever you need. Hello. Um, I'm George. Um, I've met you like four times, and honestly, Hi, it's always been a blast. Thank you oh, so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you for coming. Um, I have a kind of a two-parter. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about Kamina as a character? And when you voice acted him, how did you feel like voice acting him? Like, what made you get into the mindset of Kamina? He is just, uh, the director, Tony Oliver, told me that he is just like this beaming light of positivity. And it's like, yeah, that comes across. And like, he's a, just this shining force of inspiration. And I get a lot of, remember how I told you people get inspired or it helps them when they're depressed? That is the one show, even though it's one season and it's over 10 years old, people talk about how that, that, that show still means something so deep to them or a family member or a significant other and now they're, they're sharing that with other people, so that means a lot. He's, he's such a great character and uh, made me bummed when he took a dirt nap oh. permanently. Spoilers! <laughs> um, but yeah. Me and my friend both, it was over. <laughs> it's hard to watch past episode eight. It's like, well, there's no point in having the show anymore. But it actually is a good thing. It's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a big reason that, that pushes uh, Simone forward, so yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Dude, thank you. Thank you for your question. Awesome. All right. Hey, hey how's it going? Can you hear me? Oh, okay. I hear you loud and clear, sir. Uh, actually, just the uh, question I had for you was, so there's the story that you tell, obviously, uh, about how you got into it, but um, basically, is that story different from how you actually got into this business? So are you saying, did you lie about how you got into the business? <laughs> no, no, it's actually that boring. Um, I was working as a DJ on Radio Disney. Yep, kids radio. And heard about auditions in 2000. I was in Dallas at the time. And Funimation, now known as Crunchyroll, they're still in Dallas. They had open auditions back in 2000. So I went in and tried it out. Gohan was the first guy I read for. A couple others, too. I don't even remember who else I read for. And uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty wild. I got hired two weeks later, started doing bit part voices, a couple of bit part characters on the Bardock special. And then toward, there's some filler stuff after Cell, right before Gohan goes to high school. And it's like, oh my God, dream come true. I'm a fan of the show already. 
and now I'm getting to be a voice actor for animation. This is like life goals, and here, you know, <laughs> this is unreal. So that segue from working in radio to moving to LA to, to do more voice acting projects. And so I've been making a career of anime and video games, a little bit of cartoon stuff since then. Awesome. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you for the support. Thank you very much. Also, I turn up the microphone. So speak <laughs> you know you love the feedback. You know you do. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So I have kind of like a two-part question. Um, I know every fan has their voice actor's favorite and least work. What job did you take and you're like, I needed the money? And what job is like, I will do this forever? <laughs> I never really took a role and said, I just need the money, but also on the same token, see, when I said freelance, all actors, when you're freelance, you don't know where the next paycheck's coming from, so you are just happy to work. But take that to the next level, I am getting paid to have fun and do something that I'm really passionate about, and then get to the point many years later where, hey, I'm making a living doing something I love. So, yeah, I, I look at, every opportunity being, you know, gratitude, grateful to the universe, whatever higher power there is out there that you believe in or don't believe in, it's like fate, whatever it is, you're just like, hey, I am so blessed to get to do what I do. If it's, mostly I voice guys who die after a second or two, plus a bit part guys, and, and it's like, I'm still getting paid to have a blast, literally sometimes, you know. So it's, it's really, really, really cool to get to do that. Thank you. Thank you so much for your question. Yay. And I don't like Naruto, never seen it in our product. Proud that she hasn't seen Naruto. That's okay because I still got paid and I still have fun. That's my answer when people say, I hate so and so. I'm like, you're terrible at so and so. I'm like, I still have fun and I got paid. <laughs> Enjoy your negative life in your basement, sir. <laughs> That negative review on Rotten Tomatoes. Right. <laughs> hate is gonna hate. Um, good afternoon. Hi. Hi. I have two questions. So for the new DVC film, for Gohan, are we gonna see probably maybe a new form or sort of surpass? I don't know. I actually haven't heard any rumors. I'm kind of staying away from it because okay. I'm excited to see where it's going. All right. And then second one, with Father's Day coming around, what type of gift would Gohan give Pico? <laughs> what kind of kid would go no, 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 a gift for, a gift for Father's Day? Oh, a gift for his dad. Okay. Pickle. <laughs> a jar of pickles. Well, my cross real quick. You can do it if you want. Huh? My cross. Just kidding. Oh no. <laughs> All right. Good. We're gonna get everyone. Yay. Okay. All right. What's up? Uh, hi, um, uh, huge fan of Gohan. Um, cool. I had kind of two questions. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about the new movie? Dude, it's another chance for Dragon Ball to be on the big screen. I'm pretty stoked. Yeah. Back before Battle of Gods came out, I was just like, I don't know if Dragon Ball's going to come back, but if it comes back, it'll probably be a TV series. And then it wasn't. It was like several, it was several movies. And I'm like, I'm okay with this because technically it's easier to produce a movie than it is a, ser a series because that's much longer time period. But dude, anything, anything can happen now. It's great. You can have the, the movies that play off of the series and now that led into another series. So maybe it'll lead into more super because the manga continues. The power is in the fans and Toye watches just like every other studio. What do the fans want and hopefully we'll get to see the fruits of that labor. <laughs> also, uh, second quick question. I heard you mention uh, soggy cereal earlier. Soggy cereal, yes. What's your favorite? Favorite? Uh, Captain Crunch. Peanut butter milk, man. <sighs> so good. Thank you. So good. Thank I'll you. Now. And the final question of the day. I hope it's good. It's going to be amazing, right? Be the best question all day. Question. Best question ever. And it is drum roll. What is your favorite form of Gohan at any age? Favorite form of Gohan? Yeah, at any age. At any age. Well, That's a great question. so far the pinnacle has been when he defeats Cell. So, 
we're still waiting, you know, for, for Gohan to surpass that. And I have faith that Akira Toriyama will, will bless the fandom with what we've been waiting for. I think he, he did great in the Majin Buu saga, and then he got absorbed. And then he showed us, like, guys, I'm still relevant, you know, in the um, Tournament of Power. It's like, all right, he's still got it, but I think he's still, I think he's holding back. We're gonna see, we're gonna see greatness. Gohan will be great again. I just have a feeling. Don't you guys? Yes. Yeah. 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 Right, yeah. What's your favorite moment? I'm curious, I'm curious. What's your favorite Gohan moment? From the Cell Saga. From the Cell, exactly, exactly. That is definitely the most popular run, is preteen Gohan. <laughs> That's cool, so hopefully we can make adult Gohan. It's popular. <laughs> Would you like to thank Kyle for being here today? Yeah. Dude, thank you. Thank you for coming. Can we tell everybody to thank them for coming here too? Thanks for coming. Yeah. <laughs> You're adorable. You're awesome. Thank you guys so much for being here. Kyle, well, what are you going to be signing? What are you going to be doing? I know you told us a little bit earlier. Yeah, yeah. Who walked in late? I'm gonna go back to my booth in the little hall there, signing with all the peeps. I forgot my art prints, but I am here tomorrow. I will have all of my art prints for all my characters. They're gonna be available tomorrow. But today, if you have something of yours, or if you want to go to the dealer hall or artist alley and commission something or buy something of one of my characters, come by and get it. Get that signed. Uh, I'm doing video shout-outs. I'm doing selfies. How all sorts much? of stuff. How much? <laughs> Come to, the come to the table and you'll learn, you'll learn. Most people are bringing their Funko Pops, so you can bring those by, I'll certainly sign them. And if you say, I don't have anything to sign, I'm like, that's okay, come say hi. I'll do quotes for free. It's like, do the voice, do the thing, dance monkey, dance. <laughs> I'll do that. I'll even plug my podcast. I have a podcast where I talk to myself in different voices. It's fun. It's a geek news podcast called The Intergalactic Boombox. So search it out anywhere you listen to podcasts. The Intergalactic Boombox. And then let me know what you think about it. Absolutely. Yay. That's awesome. And at 1.30 tomorrow on the epic main stage out there, you can hear the music for all day, you will see Kyle and the other Naruto voice actors here for the... Huge, uh, for the huge reunion. I forgot the word of the reunion for a second. Join us. Join us. Tyler, I'm from thegreengeekgathering.com and I'll be here pretty much all day. I uh, have programming. Uh, next you'll see me on Most Extreme Ranking Challenge in about uh, 30 minutes in the next room. Cool. Where we, there's a lot of chaos and arguing and bargaining and we just make this joint and horrible list. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Give a round of applause for Tyler. <laughs> the Rainmaster. Okay, he's keeping it flowing, you know? Yes. Yeah, thank you so much for being here. You are Absolutely. amazing. No, no you. you. No, you. No. You and you and you and you. you, 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 you. <laughs> Alrighty. Guys, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. See you guys around. Bye-bye.